This class is a, is a really dynamic class, and I've, I've called it the best class that I've been involved in recruiting in 25 years of coaching. It's always a big day for college coaches, high school football players around the nation, and especially their parents. National Signing Day, when decisions are made final and futures begin. I'm Bruce Rader, and each year college coaches from around the country come to Hampton Roads hoping to find the next Bruce Smith, Michael Vick, Plexico Burris, or maybe D'Angelo Hall. At Old Dominion, where Coach Bobby Wilder begins to build a Division 1A program, 34 players were signed. Seven from Hampton Roads. We understand the student athletes in Virginia that might choose Virginia or Virginia Tech. Well, now there's a third FBS school in Virginia, and just because you're not offered a scholarship by Virginia or Virginia Tech doesn't mean you need to leave. Uh, need to leave Virginia. Wilder's record-breaking offense made it easy to land several highly recruited wide receivers, running backs, and a new quarterback from Texas. Locally, Oscar Smith players, Kenya Anderson and Melvin Vaughn, Octavius Matthews and Richie Station from Phoebus, along with Hampton safety Daquan Moore, hope to make Old Dominion's defense better. Moving up to Conference USA was a big plus. But the step actually uh, helped me make my decision because I can go and play big time football in my own area. Once again, college coaches from other state schools gobbled up plenty of local players. Ocean Lakes quarterback Corwin Cutler and Bayside running back Taquan Mizell are headed to UVA, while quarterback Bucky Hodges and big man Andrew Motowapuka are headed to Virginia Tech. This is a real big day. I mean, I grew up watching on ESPN, and now it's here. Um, got a bright future ahead of me, so I mean, it's a great um, point in my life. Also headed to Blacksburg, Hampton High School's Dion Newsom, whose father, Myron Newsom, was a Hokie linebacker back in the 90s.